Well folks, we're back for another Christmas video. We're going to show how to build a beautiful, elegant Christmas buffet. Right here on my take on Home and Garden. So folks, let me show you what I've done. I've taken a 10 or $12 tablecloth, rectangular. I've put a slit in it, which I know it sounds terrible, but this is all this tablecloth is for. It's for the island to go over the faucet. <laughs> and to give us more room here, I take two cutting boards, a large and a medium, and we have a small, you know, depending on what you want to work on. And I use the two to cover the sink and it gives us more space. So just to give you a basic, that's what's going on to start with to make it beautiful. Now we've got our small three tier server, our farmhouse galvanized server, and the one I made for our Bavarian elegant table in the antique gold tones. Now, most people would think those don't go together. That it's not going to work. I'm going to show you how they do work. By the time we're done, you're not going to see much of them anyway. So stay with us and we're going to make it fun. Now we have everything. Now, if you remember in the other video, we took our beautiful boxwood garland. All right. I've cut one in half, put one around the bottom of this extra large three-tier server, the one that I made. You see it's out of an old silver plate tray, silver baskets, candlestick, a wooden furniture leg, and a bowl. Okay, then we're gonna come over here we're going to go under the galvanized farmhouse one. What else do we see? Now, that slid in the uh, tablecloth, I don't want to see it. So we're going to take the stem of this frosted cedar piece and we're going to put it under the tablecloth like that. Alrighty, now I want to take a frosty piece that I've cut up of holly and bells and berries. We're going to add to our boxwood garland. You see we're a little short here. Okay, we're going to do that again over here and then let's get one in the front we want to see our decor our bell and our pine cone so we're gonna get that in effect get these frosty berry picks if you saw in the haul video okay it's really cute and this is what I wanted them for. Now we're gonna, you see how that stem shows? We're gonna come the opposite way and stick that in. And now look, we didn't have to cut a thing and we've covered both ends of that stem. Look for any blank spots, anything that's dull or boring or missing, some beautiful. And we're gonna come in here and we're gonna put a couple of those around our tiered servers. We want it lush and full. Next, I've got these beautiful candle pieces that's really like a little wreath around the candle. I think we got room for two here. See how we're filling in nice? And 
and we'll put one in the front. Right there. Well, okay, I see a bunch of empty plates. Who, who, who wants empty, right? <laughs> We're gonna keep it moving. Here's another really cute tray. You guys know you never walk away and leave your candles burning. You just can't trust them. Now we're over here too on our, for the overflow, if you will. And we've made our back counter pretty as well. Point set of plates. And we got some more fun dishes for the kids like bears and Santas especially if you have younger kids. All right, so I want to get this elegant crystal cut dish over here on this table. So we just made room for that. And we're going to take some of these cute napkins. I want to show you these. We've got these beautiful matching napkins. You got the picnic napkin, or dinner napkin, if you will, and then the uh, cocktail napkin from Big Lots last year. These plates, quite a good bunch. There's at least 12 or more at the Dollar Tree, one dollar. And they're cute, how can you beat it? Okay, I know most of you, you can have elegant without all that mess. Most of you aren't using your good dishes for a party. Now, if it's a, <laughs> you know, if it's a big party for the boss, so to speak, you might be using your good dishes. For this video, we're not. Here we go for the fun part. Now we gotta have several things on our table because we're gonna have sandwiches and sweets and the whole bit. Over here on the cutting board Now you wonder why I don't wear shoes. Did you hear them ridiculous slippers? <laughs> and it's been a little cool here. Look at these. I don't know if you ever get them. Heirloom type tomatoes. They're all those old fashioned different colors and they're just wonderful. We're gonna put them out in our display because they're delicious and they're so pretty. You'll get it real soon. Now we bought this cut meats already sliced, pre-sliced, and they're even on a paper. Look at this. We must have some Italian somewhere because our family loves Italian and we love pepperonis and salami. Okay, now what goodie bar would, would you have without cheese? Well, you wouldn't have much of one. And here we're gonna have some real fruit we're going to go around the bottom. Look at these bananas. Do I have to tell you? Boston cream eclairs. Now we're going to go with some candy canes for the kitties, the nieces and nephews. Look, look at those on your display. Let's look at our last minute decor. We got a little bit of
this boxwood to sprinkle around. We have these cute sleighs we can use for a mayonnaise. Okay, we're putting our shrimp on ice and we're making a homemade cocktail sauce, which isn't hard at all. Really simple. And a spoonful of Bavarian horseradish. You see, I'm gonna use like a half a teaspoon. Let's make sure it's safe. Oh, oh, I'll be parked in front of this. <laughs> Let's try it. Oh, man. Guys, if you like the peel and eat shrimps like me, you'll be able to relate. Remember my homemade breads? My short breads? Here it is, coming out. Coming out from when we made them. Now I'm gonna take you and show you all around. Thanks for stopping in in your busy holiday life. If you liked our elegant Christmas buffet set up today, give us a like, a share, a comment. Send a sleigh full over of new subscribers. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You can follow us on Instagram. Take care now. And we'll see you in the next Christmas video.